Somebody's punished him in this way. Mm. There's somebody stood here. There's a real oh. change of atmosphere. Can you feel it? Yeah. Yes. This week, the rescue mediums visit the quiet town of Peterborough, where this house, inherited by Robin when her mother passed away, is also home to other uninvited guests. Walk down the stairs, is there anything behind me? Alone in the home with her video camera, Robin searches for ghosts that have haunted this house since she was a child. I was a lot younger and lived here. This was my room, and I heard the handle would just rattle like, like that. It just, you know, I could hear something, you know, fidgeting around on the outside, and I felt like my life was being threatened. Ooh, it's the cab. The rescue mediums are on their way to help. Hello. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Where to? Um, we don't know. We don't know. Um, if I make a phone call, could you just talk to the producer on the other end of the phone? I'll tell you where we're going. Jackie and Christine are internationally renowned psychics who spend their days and nights showing wayward spirits into the light. I think this is it. They have been given no prior knowledge of their destination. Even the name of the town has been kept secret until now. They have no idea that the homeowner, Robin, is a follower of paganism and uses a Ouija board to contact the spirits. Mostly when I go on, on a Ouija board and make contact, no matter where I am, it's Casey. Casey makes the connection right away. Casey is the name Robin has given to the spirit of a young girl. So, oh, oh my God. Robin uses a camera to record Casey's antics. In the kitchen, I caught on video chairs moving. <laughs> I think it's Casey. Robin believes that Casey is the spirit energy that moves objects around in the kitchen. She does things, really stupid things, just to get attention. And I really honestly think it's her. Days earlier, the rescue mediums discuss their premonitions. Uh, knives and swords. I, I, if we go to this place and there is knives and swords there, we need to make sure that they are secure or we need to remove them because I really have a bad feeling about that. Right. The name of uh, Tom Linson. Didn't you get something similar to that? Yes, I did, yeah. I think it was uh, Thompson or Tomkins. Yeah. Yeah. And an old railway connection, mm. or old steam trains, something like that. As another form of premonition, the rescue mediums have created these psychic drawings of what they expect to encounter during their investigation. I'm hoping that when Jackie and Christine come, that um, I know that they can't get rid of all the spirits in the house. I know there's some that just want to stay around, but I'm hoping that they'll be able to make contact with some of the spirits, especially Casey, and see why she's like this and why she's so drawn to me. Jackie and Christine are the rescue mediums, psychics who make house calls. Hi, Robin. Hi, Jackie. After you, dear. <laughs> it's a lovely day out there. Yep. Thank you. Oh, right. Hello. 
right. Would you like to tell us why you've called us here? Um, well, I have a lot of spirits in my home. Mm -hmm. Some of them good, some of them bad. Just a lot of activity in general that has been going on. All well, right, we'll go through some of the um, reminiscences and things, things <laughs> that we've... Um, <laughs> coins on the floor or medals or something on display. Coins or something um, on display. Swords. Oh, <gasps> please don't tell me that. They are. Um, they're right there. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god. Are they fixed very securely to that wall? Yeah, I mean, that's oh. why I put them on the wall. Uh, okay. <laughs> so I had problems with things moving them. I have suddenly gone extremely hot. <laughs> <laughs> a part of the house that's got sort of a dark feel to it? That whole side, where the swords are. That, I, knew you were, I just knew you upstairs, were going to say that. Upstairs, like, you stand in there and then you have to be the, the biggest skeptic in the world and you still feel it. Like, you still feel something there. We've got two times that are very significant, 3.15 in the morning and 11.25 in the morning. Uh, 3.15 in the morning, my mom died. Okay. <laughs> um, and about, and that 11 o'clock was when I found out about, because <laughs> I wasn't, she died in the hospital and I wasn't. And you didn't find out until 11 the next morning. Mm -hmm. That would be very significant. Well, yeah. we've got those yeah. two times then. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is the ghost of Robin's mother still present in this house? Or is something darker lurking here? Somebody was shot in the head or hit. It's definitely like an older railway, yeah. isn't it? The rescue mediums have been called to this home in the town of Peterborough. A home shared by Robin, the owner. We don't want you here. And a spirit friend. My name's Casey. 3.15. Uh, 3.15 in the morning, my mom died. <laughs> Robin inherited this home when her mother passed away. In her mother's old room, Robin feels the presence of something or someone. This was always her room, and I always just generally stay out of it just because I just find it really eerie. Um, like my mom didn't die in this house but she spent a lot of her last days here. She had no business left. And so I always felt that she doesn't hang around here and she's wherever she needs to be. If Robin's mother is not the spirit haunting this place, then who is? There's a male presence in this house from what I sense. I'll see something walk past the door in that room. Casey has warned her of the other's presence. One time I was talking to her and I asked her about the the man in the house, the male presence, and, and she said that she's afraid of him. We don't want you here. The rescue mediums begin their investigation outside where they find their first confirmation. Yeah, that's definitely the house you've drawn. Yeah. A psychic drawing created weeks ago that matches Robin's house. They are drawn to the railway tracks that run past Robin's driveway. Can't get over that railway line. Do you think it's still in use? <laughs> yeah, every two weeks. Every two weeks? You're joking. <laughs> How are we getting home? <laughs> I think we've got a long walk. <laughs> it is here where they first sense the presence of a spirit. The homeowner has also seen spirit energy in this area. Well, when I come home at night, my driveway wraps around the backyard. I'll see these black figures. They're there, but they just kind of lurk around. And I think they're just one of those lurking spirits that just hang out, just watching things. As night falls, the rescue mediums investigate the upstairs bedroom. The dolls. The dolls' oh, house. house. These vintage toys are another psychic road post. And they match the rescue medium psychic drawings that were created weeks earlier. I still feel really sway here. Oh. The spirit is about to make direct contact. Yeah, very. Mm. Like this. Yeah. The swaying action could be a sign that the spirit is getting closer. Do you know, I'm, I'm absolutely certain that um, somebody was shot in the head or hit on the head. 
Because I keep getting this really... Yeah. It's almost like an explosion well, inside. We've said about you the know, head injury. Cool. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. As they follow the clues, they move downstairs to a room where Jackie had a premonition of a wall of swords. Do you know, I can almost feel as well there's a, like a... With this gentleman, there's a, there's a clunking noise, you know, with it. Like you would hear him. Right, what do you want to do next? Let's go over there. OK. I had a funny feeling you were going to say that. The rescue medium sense an overwhelming spirit presence in the sword room. There's a real oh. change of atmosphere. Can you feel it? Oh, well, yeah. Yes. Ooh. And it appears to affect everyone in the room. I'm just going to put extra protection around myself, and I think everybody here should do the same thing. Mike, are you OK? Mike. Mike, Mike, Mike. Can somebody come and help yeah. us, please? Some, somebody just take, take the camera. Somebody get that, please. Come on, Mike. Come on, Mike. The rescue mediums are being drawn into this home spirit strength and will have to use all their abilities to deal with the powerful male entity. This is something that he has done. The rescue mediums have felt the presence of a strong male entity in this Mike, Peterborough can home. Somebody come and help yeah. us, please. One that has even affected the camera crew. What were you feeling, Mike? What was? Just nauseous, completely. Sicky and dizzy. Yeah. Really yeah. Dizzy. Which is what we've been picking heavy, up on. Like that's the heavy exposure heavy about feeling. it. Yeah. You feeling okay? Yeah. Okay. The rescue mediums now decide to confront the powerful spirit energy. Yeah, you can actually somebody feel... Somebody stood here. You can actually feel it. Feel that. You? There's somebody stood here. Just went like that. No one is really. You're gonna stay like that forever? No. I hope not. Don't slip back. Yeah. <laughs> no. That is a definite. Uh, do you want to speak to us now, friend? Do you want to tell us what you're doing here? This is something that he has done. Um, oh, he's done this to somebody? Uh, no, no. He... This is some... He has done something, and it's like retribution. OK. So somebody's punished him in this way because he did something? To somebody else. Oh, right. Yeah. OK. In an attempt to help the lost male spirit, the rescue mediums contact the other spirit in the house. The one no one is casing. Do you want us to just sit on here for a little minute? I'm just going to ask her now if she needs any help. OK. And I'm going to ask her to see if she can impress herself to both of us instead of just myself. All right. Yeah, All right. Okay. So, OK, we'll just do... The spirit of Casey makes her presence known and brings the rescue mediums a message. I don't know if I'm exactly right, but I feel as if this little girl is, is a guide. Yeah. Yeah. Guide, yeah. yeah. A guide to... to I'm to not Robin. sure if it's a lady here, Robin, or... Yeah. Or a guide Maybe. to the land. She's just saying she's, she's looking after the land as if she's trying to cleanse everything. Mm. With the participation of the homeowner, the rescue mediums decide to perform a cleansing ritual. By cleansing the home and the land, they hope it will help the wayward male spirit into the light. Heal. The sage is burning with this smudge stick as well. So we ask for that healing to come right through the roots of the house. 
And we ask that the healing light of spirit and of sage is spread across the land and deep into the earth. They use sage and incantation to calm the unsettling ghostly activity and to promote spiritual healing. The railway track yeah. and the light is right at the end oh. of it. <laughs> so he's going to walk down the track. That's cool. <laughs> the disturbing male spirit is finally shown into the light. To go forward, we need you to go through that light. We bring the healing light right through the basement of the house, right up through every level of the house to lift the atmosphere, to make this a happy house. Good. OK. I can feel that coming out. <laughs> Could you? Yeah, Could you just, actually feel that? Felt like, kind of like this overwhelming energy of this yes. that came up. And... That's how it feels. Did you feel the upliftment? Like yeah. It releasing. yeah, I just felt, yeah. yeah. The rescue mediums have cleansed the home of the disturbing spirit activity and will now sit down with the homeowner to present their findings, combined with independent research into the area's history. And there's more. Okay. <laughs> The rescue mediums present their findings, along with independent research, to the homeowner in this Peterborough house. OK, so we're, we're going to go through some of the premonitions that we did when we first came okay. and link it into what's happened since we've been here and what we found out through the research. Okay. When we were doing our walkabout, we came across the spirit of a gentleman. There's somebody stood here. We mentioned a railway that was nearby and an old railway connection. What we found very interesting is now, we have an anniversary of a death on the railway line. In 1907, a dead man was found on these tracks. He had been walking hundreds of miles it was his spirit that had confronted the rescue media. With this gentleman, there's a, there's a clunking noise, you know, with it, like you would hear it. The noise was likely the sound of his feet hitting the railway ties as he walked his epic journey and tried to escape his inevitable fate. He walked, he had walked direct from Montreal. That's a heck of a way yeah. to walk. <laughs> now, we've checked to see whether this railway line that goes through here would have been on the same line, the Birdsall line. It's exactly the same line. Wow. Had he carried on walking, this is the railway track he would have walked along. The man was murdered on the tracks adjacent to Robin's home. The house that he was actually occupied at before he was killed, the gentleman's name was William Thompson. Yeah, I think it was Thompson or Tomkins. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got the Thompson name yep. coming up again. And there's more. OK? <laughs> the coroner's report at the time confirms what the spirit had told Jackie and Christine. His murder had been an act of revenge. He has done something, and it's like retribution. OK. Somebody was shot in the head or hit on the head. The man could not escape his attacker. Because I keep getting this really... Okay. <laughs> Yeah. It's almost like an explosion We've inside. We've said about the head injury. Yeah. He had a fractured skull, fractured right temple, right frontal forehead being fractured, and we had the head injuries with this man. This is the coroner that has said this. So that corroborates wow. the story that he gave to, to us when we were helping him through. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> So then we've got this little girl, can you see, that flits um, back and to, who we believe is your guide. Wow. This psychic drawing represents the homeowner's spirit guide, Casey, a being who will help Robin on her life's journey. And I know that you've said that um, Casey has sometimes brought through maybe you thought negative things. Mm -hmm. um, we just feel that that may be, you know, you and not Casey. Yeah. Because as Jackie said, we feel Casey is your guide and uh, anything negative that comes through that is not really from spirit. Okay. The things that come through 
that you're thinking, oh no, that's a nasty thing. Your guide would not do anything nasty yeah. to you at all. See, if I, if I knew that she was my guide, I would have been able to filter mm -hmm. it out. More. Well, she like is. In the past, she yeah. is, now you yeah. know. It's just, it's just as you know, yeah. I wasn't sure what she was or where she came from, and I just, you know, it's hard to decipher mm -hmm. things that... It is, yeah. yeah. The house feels so much happier and calmer and not so disjointed, you know? Mm -hmm. That's good. That's mm -hmm. very good. We're glad. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> we always always say it. Because we, we, we never want to leave. <laughs> Thank you so Bye, much. Robin. We meant what we said, you know, if, if you've got any problems, just give us a call. Okay? Bye. <laughs> yeah, good ya. luck. <laughs> Bye. The rescue mediums bid Robin. And Casey, farewell. Better get walking. Come on. I think we can get to the pub this way. And they find a place for a spirit guide of their own. There we go. Oh, thank you, dear. You're so kind. Turned out to be quite a lot. We needed rescue, really. Yeah. They did a very good job. Yes, yeah, so do I. Cheers to us. Cheers to us. Cheers. Cheers. That's a good beer. It's very good yeah. beer. I think we'll come here again. Yeah.